Hello, my name is Oleg Skantimuros and I am World Almersling Federation Master Referee and today I'm going to explain you everything you need to know about the basic rules of armersling. Athletes need to wear sports pants, sports t-shirt that doesn't cover the elbows and sports shoes. Shorts is not allowed. It is not allowed to wear watches or jewelry on the competing arm. Athlete is not allowed to wear caps with the brim pointing forwards. Referee outfit consists referee t-shirt that's tucked in the pants, black belt, black pants, black shoes and a wristwatch. The arm wrestling table has two setups, one for the right arm and one for the left arm. So right now the table is on the right side, so the elbow pads is slightly to the right side. If you turn it like this, then it's for the left arm and the elbow pads is slightly to the left side. Right now we're going to show you general setup for arm wrestling match. To the table. Take a grip. Center. Center this way. Wrist. Wrist. Knuckles. Shoulder. Shoulder. Ready? Go! Rotate. Wrist. Knuckles. Distance here. Distance here. An elbow fall is when you lift the elbow off the pad or elbow runs off the sides of the pad. Ready? Go! Stop! Elbow fall. Two falls is a loss. Ready? Go! Stop! Second elbow fall. Winner. If the athlete doesn't listen to referee, it's a warning. Ready? Stop. One warning. False start. Two warnings is one fall. Ready? Stop. Second warning. False start. One fall. Dangerous position is when the arm of the athlete is in a danger of breaking. And dangerous position is a fall. Ready? Go! Stop! Dangerous position. One fall. Ready? Go! Stop! Dangerous position. One fall. When your hand touches the shoulder, it's a fall. Ready? Go! Stop! Touching of the shoulder. One fall. Letting go of the peg will result a warning called to offender without stopping the match. Ready? Go! Stop! Letting go of the peg. One fall. If the advantage is gained prior to regrip the peg, match will be stopped and the offender will be given a fall. If you push your opponent elbow off the pad, it will be a fall for you. If the athletes lift their elbow off the pad at the same time, it will be a coincidental fall. No falls will be given. Intentionally letting go of the grip will be a fall. Slip in the losing position is a loss. Losing position means two-thirds from the center of the table to the pad. If athletes doesn't agree on a grip, it's a referee's grip. Any movement in a referee's grip is a fall. Referee's grip. For you, thumbs up or down? Down. Down, okay. Center. Shoulders. Shoulders. Don't move. You first. Don't move. Ready, go. If the slip happens, it's a strap match. Okay, so you put the buckle 
in the middle of the palm and then you ask to the athlete up or down down the same you ask for the second athlete up or down down, down. then you put the strap here in this loop and then you tighten it hold it with your hand So strap always needs to be tight. Then you pull towards you and then down. As far as possible from the fingers of the athlete. Grip. Words ready go should be said loudly and clear and it should be two separate words not rolled in one word. Ready, go! You can only win when your opponent's wrist is parallel or under the pin pad. You can't win in neutral position. If it's needed, the athletes can request to raise the platform. Rules for hearing impaired athletes. The referees during the setup procedure will only use hand signals with the competitors, not speak with them verbally. To start the match, the referee will take one hand of the competitor's grip and give them thumbs up signal for approximately one or two seconds, then take their other hand of the competitor's grip at the same time as removing the thumb up signal, this action indicating the start of the match. This will replace the words ready go and be done in silence. The deaf championships will follow ordinary WAF rules, except of two exceptions. Setup, starting position of the match and dangerous position. Visual impaired athletes will follow ordinary WAF rules, except one exception, dangerous position. They will just stop the match. Sit-down classes can use wheelchair or chair with or without cushion as long as it fits under the table. One part of the buttock must be in contact with the chair or cushion at all times. Losing contact will result a fall. In seated matches, there must be four referees, two for tabletop and two for holding the chairs and watch the falls. After the ready go, referees goes here to watch the elbow pads. Second referee duty is to watch the wrist on his side. If the wrist of the athlete is bent, then second referee shows his wrist bent. If the wrist of the athlete is straight, second referee shows thumbs up. First, fall. Second, fall. Touching the shoulder, fall. Shoulder crossing the center line, fall. Intentionally slip, fall. First, elbow, fall. Second elbow, fall. Touching the shoulder, fall. Shoulder crossing the center line, fall. Intentionally slip out, fall. Pushing, fall. Coincidental, fall, no falls. Winner. <laughs>